number one for the first time in 25 years. The Hawks have soared to the top on the strong arm of Heisman candidate Chuck Long, who has returned for a fifth year and is Iowa's all-time leading passer. On the ground, the workhorse is All-America Ronnie Harmon. Back from a broken leg, Harmon is a slashing runner with a keen eye for the end zone. But it's not just the offense that has head coach Hayden Fry stoked up. For the Hawkeyes possess a dominating defense that is both opportunistic and hard-hitting. Yes, good news for the folks in Iowa. The bad news is over for a while because right now the Hawkeyes are number one. meets Michigan State, and head coach George Perlis Spartans have played Iowa tough. A year ago, it came down to this play for a two-point conversion. Iowa will go for broke. Boy, I like this. This is gut on the part of Hayden Fry. No doubt about it. Here's Chuck Long. Going to keep him. Going to go into the end zone for two points. No, he didn't make it. He did not make it. Michigan State won 17 to 16, knocking Iowa out of the Rose Bowl. Today they'll meet again, and revenge will be on the minds of the Hawkeyes. It's homecoming live from Iowa City. CBS Sports presents College Football. Live from Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, Iowa, it's the Michigan State Spartans versus the Iowa Hawkeyes. This time they take Ronnie Harmon out, go to one running back, and it's the fullback. He stays in to protect. Long goes deep for the home run. It's Smith. He's got it at the 15. Touchdown, Iowa. Second effort. Phil Parker could not bring him down. First and ten. McAllister coming to the right. Big Jeff Frost got him out of the pocket. Throws back complete. Rising. He's got an alley in speed. Across the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10. Down to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan State. The Spartans are hanging tough here in Iowa City. It's 13-10. We got one cooking. Here is White coming to the short side. Touchdown. And George Perlis and the Spartans are authoring an upset. Can the Hawkeyes solve Lorenzo White? They haven't here so far, and now the heat is on. First and ten. Long to put it up again. They'll set the screen, and here's Harmon. Daylight comes to the outside at the 20, the 15, inside the 10, and finally Parker gets him out of bounds near the five-yard line, and the Hawkeyes now are storming back. A 37-yard game. And, of course, Ronnie Harmon is trying to come back and be as impressive as Lorenzo White has been here today. From the eye, Harmon's the eye back. Comes out as a blocker. The pass to Smith. Touchdown, Iowa. Decision time for the Hawkeyes. Do they go for two? They have already missed one extra point. And their specialist has a tender leg. Aiden Fry must make a decision against George Perlis and Michigan State. Perlis is watching to see. There's no question that he's going to go for two in this sequence. Big 
to Harmon. Under pressure, throws it. He's got it in the end zone. Two points. Great throw under pressure. Number 20, David Hudson. Long, rolling to the left. His receiver's covered on that side. He'll throw back for a touchdown to flag. And the Long family is overjoyed as their son has done it again. Another draw with Johnson. First down. Turns the corner, and he's got a touchdown. Michigan State has scored with 4.06 to go on a 25-yard run by backup Craig Johnson. Iowa ranked number one, four minutes away from being upset here this afternoon. Long to throw it on first down. Pumps comes to Happel. He's got it and out of bounds. Inside the 25. McAllister and Michigan State are on the brink of upsetting Iowa, but the Hawkeyes have got one last at bat. Also, let's see what kind of deployment Michigan State has defensively. This is so similar to a year ago when Iowa failed on a two-point conversion. Here they are needing the touchdown. Long has got it. He'll walk in. He faked to Harmon and kept it. send trips. It's Big Ben left for Michigan State. McAllister will heave it in their direction. It goes down toward the end zone. Ball is batted in the air, but can't be caught. Iowa prevails, but they know they've been in a football game. 